Adding music to your movie is a great way to give it energy and set the mood by adding tension, drama, or comic relief. If you're editing a movie for your own personal use that will only be seen by your friends and family, then you can use any music that you want for free. But if your movie is going to be shown publicly, and that includes the web, you have to pay for the right to use certain music. A handy way around this is to take advantage of Apple's GarageBand application. GarageBand is a part of Apple's iLife package that also includes iPhoto, iMovie, and iWeb. All of the loops and songs in GarageBand are rights-free, and you can quickly and easily create and add them to your movie. Let's take a look at how this is done. When you launch the GarageBand application for the first time on your Mac, the new project window will open. Go to the sidebar on the left and click once on Magic Garage Band. On the right side of this window, you can choose one of nine genres. Blues, rock, jazz, country, reggae, funk, Latin, roots rock, and slow blues. Each genre only has one song, but you can alter each one by choosing different instrumentation and styles. As you hover your cursor over each genre, there's a play button that lets you preview that genre's song. When you find one that you like, double click on it. I'm going to choose Reggae. The stage window opens and reveals six different positions that represent different players in a band. On the far left of the stage is the guitar position. This is usually the rhythm track. Just above and to the right is the bass player position. Back center is drums. Directly to the right of drums is the keyboard player position. In front of that is melody. Center stage is reserved for the my instrument position which allows you to plug in your own instrument and jam with Magic GarageBand if you want. But what if you don't intend to plug in your own instrument and you want Magic GarageBand to do all the work? Well, just click on the spotlight under the My Instrument position to select it. In the toolbar directly beneath the stage window, you'll be able to choose different voices or instrument presets. There's also an option to create your own. On the far right side of the toolbar is the No Instrument icon. This allows you to remove the instrument from that position entirely. Once you've removed the My Instrument position, all that remains on the stage is the backup band. Now, let's start to arrange our song. Below the Instrument toolbar, there's a dark gray timeline that shows you the different sections that make up a song. The intro, verse 1 the chorus, and verse 2. Below the song layout timeline, you can choose to change your genre by clicking on the Change Genre button. You can choose to just use a portion of the song, or snip it, or the entire song. There's also a play button and a volume slider. And finally, there's the Open in GarageBand button that sends your arrangement to the main GarageBand window where you can create a more advanced arrangement if you wish. For this lesson, we're going to choose the entire song instead of a snippet. Once you've selected the entire song option, click on the play button to begin the audition process. The song will begin to play its default arrangement. When arranging a song, it's a good idea to start with the rhythm section. Let's start by clicking on the spotlight underneath the bass position. The instrument toolbar will now display all the variations available for the bass position in this song. Think of each instrument icon as a musician. Every musician likes their instrument to sound a certain way, and they all have their own unique playing styles. So by changing one musician, you can dramatically change the sound of one song. While the song continues to play, click on one of the instrument icons from the toolbar to audition it. When you find one you like, move on to the next instrument position on stage. Ooh. 
Continue with the same audition process for each position until the song sounds just the way you want it. Remember that just because there's an instrument on stage doesn't mean you have to use it. You can always highlight that position and choose no instrument from your toolbar to delete it. Now that we have our song arranged the way we like it, click the Open in GarageBand button located in the lower right corner. The GarageBand project window will open. This displays the different tracks containing the samples that make up your song. There's also an LCD window in the bottom center of the screen that displays four different things. Time, Measures, Tuner, and Project. We're going to select Time by clicking on the small upward facing arrow on the left of the LCD window until you see a clock icon. This will show us how long our song is when we place the playhead in the timeline at the very end. You may want to make your song longer by adding another chorus and verse. Lasso the section you want by holding down the mouse and dragging a box around that section. This will highlight just the section you want to repeat. Now, hold down the Option key and click and drag the selected section to the end of the song. This copies the section that you highlighted. And voila, it's a longer song. Now we have one last step, and that's to share. Go to the Share pull-down menu at the top of the screen and choose from one of the export options. We're going to choose Send to iTunes. This option is the easiest way to make it available to iMovie, where you can find it later in iMovie's media browser. Once you've chosen the Send to iTunes option, the Send to iTunes sheet window will open. Fill in the information on the sheet. Be sure that the Compress box is checked. Then choose either MP3 or AAC from the pull-down menu. These formats are very similar, but AAC offers a higher quality for the same file size. Now click Share. GarageBand will mix down your song and send it to iTunes. iTunes will launch and begin to play your song. If you're editing in iMovie, your song will automatically show up and be available in the Music and Sound Effects browser. If you're editing in another Mac application, you can import that song file into your editing program to use in your movie. And that's it, you've just composed a song. See you at the Grammys.